it was winter, snow was falling, it was winter, you were calling, and I heard you, and I trembled, winter. Kendra Knapp, Terrence McNally. Now, John Doyle. It's really amazing every single day to go into that room. It's like, it's like it was when I walked into the room with Leonard Bernstein and Jerome Robbins. And, and it's 2014 and I'm still walking into the room. I think we have the same passion for it that we did from the very beginning. Uh, it's not something I can explain to intellectually, but uh, uh, I think we both believe in it and public. Uh, you know, uh, uh, John Doyle and Graciela Daniel, the, uh, our choreographer, both very visual uh, theater artists, and they work wonderfully together, and they're telling the story in very clear, strong images, and it's helped, it made me excited again about the possibilities of what you can do with theater. I've found this a very invigorating experience. One of Cheetah's lines is, I feel strangely exhilarated. I've been feeling that myself here. You know, I mean, the thing that the writers have brought to the piece that is not so strongly there in the original source material is a love story, right? The, there's, there's the relationship between these two central characters. Because it's sudden, inevitably that brings more passion, love with it, than maybe in the original play. I, I think it's one of the best scores John and Fred ever wrote, and very, very different from a lot of people think of, they know their style. I think they went to some very new, strange, and wonderful places with this score, and I'm so eager for to share it with more people. The love story is, is a really wonderfully, wonderfully complicated one. Because, you know, these are two people in their 70s. Um, people in their 70s can still be and fall in love, you know. Um, but they are people who are at a point in their mortality. They're not, they're not Romeo and Juliet at the other end of the mm -hmm. They're Romeo and Juliet at the end of their journey. But, it, but not in a nostalgic way. It's actually about a true thing. Somebody makes a mistake in his life of lying about something, not being honourable about the one, you know, and everyone in the audience has done that. So there's something for, for we, we can all recognise, we resonate with this, a story like this. Very simple, one lie leads to tragedy. And in a way, uh, this is a story about redemption, about love that will never die, in, in, in a most bizarre way. The piece is, it's challenging. There's no questions. Well, there. It is. It is. It's it's not, but that's, that's the glory of it. Theatre to me is supposed to be a mirror up to nature. It is a reflection on who we are as human beings. It's about our humanity. And I think more than anything else, theatre is the thing that reminds us that we're all the same. It explores our sameness. And I think this material does that. Years have gone by, it's true. Still my heart rushes to all my memories.